है Here we have four friends start from four towns which are at four corners of an imaginary rectangle. So let's say this is the rectangle. And these are the four corners. Let's say A, B, C, D. Now four friends start from these corners. They meet at a point which falls inside the rectangle. So let's say all of them meet at this point. So this person goes from point A to this meeting point. Let's say the meeting point is M. This person goes from B to point M. Another person goes from D to M. And another person goes from C to M. Okay, this is the meeting point. Now after traveling a distances of 40, 50 and 60 meters. So the distances traveled are 40. Let's say this is 40, this is 50, this is 60 and this is something which we don't know. The question is the maximum distance that the fourth person, what is the maximum distance fourth person could have traveled? So although the question is asking maximum distance traveled, so you might uh, get uh, or you might think that there is a range of distances that the person could travel, but that's not the case. Here you'll get a proper answer. There is only one possibility of the distance that the uh, fourth person could travel. Let's see how is that. So let's join this point with all the four sides as in let's draw perpendicular to all the four sides from this meeting point. Okay. So basically this is a line and this is another line. Let's consider these points as X, Y or rather P, Q, R, S. Fine. Now let us consider one by one a few triangles first would be triangle dms this triangle dms now in this triangle dms now let's say this is a instead of taking values i'll take variable okay this is a this is b or rather this is d this distance is c and this distance is b so here what we will have is D in this triangle DMS, D is the perpendicular uh, hypotenuse. So we will have D square is equal to MS square plus SD square. So MS square plus SD square, right? Similarly, now let's consider this triangle, uh, triangle CMS, triangle CMS. Here CM is the hypotenuse, so we have C square is equal to MS square plus uh, what do you say SC square, SC square, fine. Now let's consider the triangle QMB, in triangle QMB uh, we have BM is the hypotenuse, so B square should be QM square plus QB square, B square is qm square plus qb square and finally consider triangle qma this is also a right triangle qma so again we can use pythagoras theorem a is the hypotenuse so a square should be equal to qm square plus aq square okay fine now if you notice D has MS square and C has MS square and also SD, SD is equal to AQ, SD will be equal to AQ, similarly SC will be equal to QB. So what we have over here is that D square plus B square, D square plus B square, let's consider this, what is this? D square is MS square plus SD square and B square is QM square plus QB square. Now MS square let it be as it is plus SD instead of uh, sorry MS SD instead of SD I can write QA right instead of SD I can write QA so MS square plus SD square is same as MS square plus QA square. And this thing QM square plus instead of QB I can write SC, SC square. Now think MS square plus SC square. What is MS square plus SC square? It is C square. 
so this becomes c square plus what about qa square plus qm square it is a square so basically this is what we get d square plus b square is equal to c square plus a square and we did not consider any values right so this is a generic property that you get if you take any point inside the rectangle square of the distance from the two or sum of squares of the distance to any two opposite vertices will be same as sum of squares of the distances from the other two opposite vertices so distance square of distance from a and c the sum will be equal to sum of squares of distance from b and d okay that's what we have so now it's given that the uh, in the rectangle after traveling distances of so three people meet uh, after traveling distances of 40 50 and 60 so let's say this is 40 this is 50 this is 60 what is this distance is what we need to calculate okay so now why is maximum distance or minimum distance why is this problem coming that's because either 40 and 60 can be opposite to each other and 50 and the unknown distance can be opposite each other or it's possible that 40 50 will be opposite to each other and 60 and the unknown distance will be opposite to each other so there are two cases basically so let's consider both these cases first case is when you have 40 square plus 50 square is equal to 60 square plus x square let's say x is the distance from the fourth uh, vertex second case is when you have 40 square plus 60 square which is equal to 50 square plus x square right and if you think about it there will be one more case what will be that case 50 square plus 60 square can also be equal to 40 square plus x square right so these will be the three cases and that's why the question is asking for maximum or the minimum distance now think about it when will the when will x be maximum x will be maximum in this third case right so basically sum on both the sides should be equal right so x will be maximum when this part is minimum and this is minimum when it is 40 and not 50 or 60 so let's solve this case 25 uh, 50 square is 2500 60 square is 3600 which is equal to 40 square which is 1600 plus x square so this becomes uh, how much 6100 is equal to 1600 plus x square so 6100 minus 1600 is effectively 4500 which is equal to x square so x is equal to square root of 4500 now what will be square root of 4500 this will be 45 into 100 so this will be 10 times of square root of 45 so approximately what is square root of 45 let's see square root of 45 will obviously so this is 10 times square root of 45 square root of 45 will be somewhere between 6 and 7 right 6 square is 36 7 square is 49 so this will be somewhere between 6 and 7 so the final value of x will be between 60 to 70 and if you look at the options obviously cannot be determined cannot be the answer it, it we are able to determine the highest possible value right this is the highest possible value although we can determine it's just that calculation is a little tricky so we'll do some approximation the value of x comes out to be between 60 and 70 and the only option between 60 and 70 is option a hence option a is the right answer here thank you